Even after dominating pop culture for more than 40 years, it seems like the Star Wars franchise is just getting started. We've already seen three trilogies, two spin-off films with more on the way, a Christmas special, and a couple of Ewok movies that are, let's be honest, the best in the franchise. Sheer enchantment and excitement, says the Hollywood Reporter. But Disney has no plans to slow down on Star Wars, which means we could be in for a slew of new films and TV shows. A standout character from the original trilogy, Boba Fett was last seen falling into the mouth of the Sarlacc, but fans have speculated that he might have escaped seeing how he has a jetpack and all. A Boba Fett solo movie would give creators a chance to dive a little deeper into the criminal underworld of the Star Wars galaxy. Josh Trank, director of Chronicle and Fantastic Four, was actually slated to direct a Boba Fett film in 2015, but he was fired from the project before it came to fruition. While Boba Fett might be making a cameo in Solo, a Star Wars story, there's no indication that Disney has decided to move ahead and give the bounty hunter his own movie. The Rogue Squadron is an elite group of Rebel Alliance pilots seen throughout the original trilogy and led by Luke Skywalker. Most notably, we see Rogue Squadron at work in the famous battle on Hoth. A Rogue Squadron movie could focus on any number of conflicts during the Galactic Civil War, but maybe the most interesting would be the liberation of Coruscant in the style of Top Gun but with dogfights in space. Plus, then you have a reason to put Tom Cruise in a Star Wars movie. If any character from the prequels deserves a spinoff, it's Jar Jar Binks. No, not actually, it's Darth Maul. Fans have been talking about a Darth Maul movie since the character was underutilized in The Phantom Menace in 1999. The character didn't have much of a backstory in the movie, but the Darth Maul comics tell a pretty interesting story. One in which we see the Jedi as villains and Darth Maul as a more tragic figure out for revenge while being manipulated by the Emperor. It would be nice to see a Star Wars film from the perspective of the Sith for a change, and Darth Maul would offer a clear window into that. From my point of view, the Jedi are evil! Jedi vs. Sith has been the main conflict through all the Star Wars films. Sort of an X-Men first class for the Star Wars universe, a Jedi vs. Sith movie would see the first Sith turning to the dark side. In the game Knights of the Old Republic, we get some insight into this with Ajunta Paul, the leader of the Dark Jedi and the first Sith Lord. He appears as a force ghost in the game, but a full film would afford a chance to watch the schism between the Jedi and the Sith unfold in the Old Republic. Speaking of going back to the old days, it would be fun to see an origin story for the Jedi in general. Seeing the Star Wars universe in a less technologically advanced era would offer a new foundation for the franchise, and the story of the first Jedi would pair nicely with The Last Jedi. There's a wealth of information about the formation of the Jedi in the expanded universe novels and comics, but unfortunately Disney announced that moving forward none of those stories will be considered canon. Of course, that doesn't mean they couldn't take inspiration from the expanded universe stories about the first Jedi. Everybody loves Jabba the Hutt. Seeing the infamous crime lord as a Don Corleone style anti-hero could offer a chance to round out his character a bit more. He agrees! If there's one thing the Star Wars franchise is missing, it's a Goodfellas style crime thriller. Also, who knew that Jabba the Hutt had a son? Jota, me be donkey. We've been in the superhero bubble for more than 10 years, but we still haven't seen superheroes make their way to the Star Wars canon, although you could say that Jedi are superheroes in a way. Clone Force 99 was a proposed storyline for the Star Wars Clone Wars series that went unfinished after the show was cancelled. Force 99, also known as the Bad Batch, were a group of clones with mutations that gave them special abilities. The group in Clone Wars consists of only four members, but a movie could expand the group into an Avengers-style supergroup. The Clone Wars were underwhelming in the prequel trilogy, so a film focused on Clone Force 99 could give the wars another chance to shine on the big screen. With the conclusion of the newest Star Wars trilogy on its way, Disney has an opportunity to branch out from the Skywalker family and tell any number of stories about other figures in the galaxy. 